You probably can't see me. Maybe I can let me shed some light. Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, whenever you may be watching this. It is Paper and Moose Renee here, and it is flea market day. Today, I am a shopper at the flea market. It is almost 5 a.m. The sun is just coming up, and I am ready to hunt for some vintage treasures. Always on the hunt for ephemera, postcards, photo albums, scrapbooks, and then any other thing that I find interesting, unique, quirky, or that I just have to have. So join me, my first shopping adventure at the flea market this year for 2020. Let's see what we can find and what we can save, what we can research. Let's go and have some fun. I'm ready to find some treasure. Go back to oh, well, yeah, let me go look at those. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your first? Were you here yesterday? No. Okay. I, I work all the time. I'm yeah, it's hard. Busy. Let's see. All right, I'm awake. Shut up. <laughs> if you just give me a there and put the glass out. Oh, I'll sure. Just lay yep. it out here on the ground yep. anywhere. I don't care. Okay. Thank you. Very You're much. welcome. You always have neat things. Oh, look at this. My buddy Blue Wit and Goodwill. I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna grab you. Let me hold on. Oh, that's neat. I know. You've been working all year collecting stuff. A lot of people have, yeah. I know, I'm glad they finally opened. I've never seen one. This oh, right that's here, me! You've got a whole... If you look inside it, though. You've got a whole new... Oh, wow, there's a plate. ...plate and everything in there, which is, oh, makes it's it outfitting. really cool. Oh, that is really nice. Yeah, I've never seen one. No. Some of them will definitely... Be, I don't have one. But that's really cool. Yeah. So do you do clean-outs? No. I work for a scrap company. Oh yeah, that's right. I think we've and I find all kinds of stuff to so someone that. brought that to the scrapyard? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yup. Some chandelier. I need to get a job at a scrapyard. <laughs> yeah, right? Try to get that stuff over there. This is weird here. See what's up like this? It's actually this flower frog. Antique uh, leather. Oh, that's, oh, is that a seat? Yeah. It's old though. Probably from like the 20s or something. There we go. Yes. How much for the? Uh, two bucks. Okay, we'll grab that. Alright, I think I got everything out of there. This one's neat too. Stay up like I want it to. Oh, this is cute. Buffalo that book. It's a clock button. I'm gonna grab that. Oh, a Halloween scarf. I'll we'll grab that too. I really like the look of that. Start running and stuff with I'll be right back in one second. Okay. So that guy wanted $150 on that World War II album. Good luck, because you're not going to get that here. Maybe if you put that online, you might get that much, but not at this market. $50, I would have bought it, but not $150. There's a line of people. Thank you. 
the new stick. We're just unpacking. <laughs> there's no, That's all right. There's no full one. Oh, okay. What would you want for the mall? They're parts. I guess my son just left them behind. Oh, they were his. What would you want on the whole box? Yeah. Uh, Five dollars. Sure. Much. How about this guy? We'll get this guy too. Oops. I'm gonna. How much did you want for the little green, the green dragon guy? Or not a dragon. That's three. Three? Alrighty. We'll throw him in. So I'm at eight. Cabbage patch. Oh, I had all these when I was little. <clears throat> it's been a really good morning so far. I did pick up the box of Transformers for $5. She said that they weren't complete. Um, but then when I was walking away, I had someone come up to me because they saw Voltron sticking out of the top and he said that he was trying to complete his Voltron. So how much did I want for the whole box? I'll look them up. Thanks. I know that vintage transformers go for a decent amount of money. So now I just got to figure out which ones are which, but dropping it off in my car and then back out to search for more. He's cute. Oh, why is that one glued on top? Oh, from Bobby. That was a good day for the flea market. I found some interesting things like this turkey over here. <laughs> you like, like what you don't know what you're going to find in the trash. You don't know what you're going to find at the flea market. And I never expected to find a life-size realistic ceramic turkey, but I did for $1. <laughs> One of my favorite sellers, I like going to him because you never know what you're going to find. This proves it. He has some really interesting things and at really great prices. So I heard him say, hey, I even have a turkey. And I was busy looking through one of the boxes, so I didn't look up. And then I heard him say, well, it's only a dollar. So I looked and I'm like, I need this. <laughs> you know, easy fix with some paint. But I mean, this thing looks like a real turkey a real turkey so i will put this out with my thanksgiving decor i think it'd be really funny to say i'm going to be cooking a turkey dinner and invite some family members over and then bring this out on a platter and see what happens <laughs> so this might be it's i don't think i've I'm, I'm ever going to find a ceramic realistic turkey again in my life 
And if I do, if it's a dollar, I will probably buy it. So, um, from that same vendor, seller, I purchased a, a few things which were really nice. We have the ceramic, I'm not ceramic, you have the flower frog. This wind, silence wind, um, in the nice green color. And I believe it says, oh, made in Japan. So very nice, still rather sharp. I also got this bandana from him. It is Halloween. It does have, you know, some discoloration, but that's to be, or maybe not, maybe it's supposed to be like that with orange, but this will be great to add to my Halloween collection. I do not have a bandana. So I liked that. From him, I also purchased mixtures. I bought this nice little hanky. I liked the colors and the pattern. This would probably make a good hang uh, bandana, actually. Oops. Don't want to drop those. That. I found a Mickey vase from him. It's Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney Productions. It's Christmas Mickey. His paint is long gone, but I haven't seen one of these, so I have no idea what it's worth, but we got him. I bought this. I thought this was really cool. It, is, it says Hamburg Broom Works, Hamburg, Pennsylvania. So it attaches to the wall there and it's to hang your brooms. It's probably for a display piece. Really great, you know, industrial look. And it folds up like that. What else? What else? I did buy some paper from him. We have this college typing book, and the reason that I purchased it is because of the images of the typewriters. Not so much for the lessons, but for, where is it? No, there's some in here. There we go. I think they're really neat. That. Um, another book, the cowboy book. I bought that for the illustrations as well. This Chester Oil Company Pocket Atlas of the World. It has some old maps. Does it have a date? It does not. It's Chester Oil Company, Refiners of Petroleum, with offices in Philadelphia. And they advertised in any means possible. My favorite pieces that I purchased were these. And I think I saw this one first. And so my eye was immediately drawn to, I could tell that it was war related. But if you look, the men, the cartoon men pictured, they are veterans and they all have medical problems. So we have amputees of the arm. He's an amputee of the leg. It says, I lost an arm, but I haven't lost my smile. They backed us when we were in the trenches and they will back us now. You all to see what I did to him. We all played the game to the end. And this was sold by unemployed and disabled veterans for 25 cents. And the illustrations, you know, there's cartoons. Uncle Sam is of course in here. They did your part, will you do yours? Same thing with these. These are buddies. Oh, that's really nice. They fought the good flight fight, sold by unemployed ex-servicemen. But here again, you have an amputee and then a man that has been 
I'll say crippled from the war. The reunion to recall early days of war, prayers of a sportsman. Of course, you have your funnies. Um, so they do have wear, they have damage, but I'm the the oh, I can't even talk. So I'm trying to think. What I'm trying to say. Um, what happened in the world of prosthetics because of World War One was amazing. Prior to World War One, you know, if you needed a leg or an arm, you pretty much had to be wealthy to have one special fitted for you. So with all of the military personnel, you know, coming home or dealing with having an arm blown off, a leg blown off, part of their jaw blown off, an ear. You, know, you have to, they had to devise and think of some ways that they could make prosthetics available to a rather large portion of the American community because of what was happening. So it's, it's really interesting to see all the different methods that were used, especially in regards to the face and then the different devices and contraptions that they used for arms, legs. It's, it's just amazing. So that, those should be interesting to go through. Um, let's see, I'll save my, probably my best finds for last. I do not know his name. Well, we will just call him Mr. Boscovs. One of the viewers who watches both Taco Stacks and I, he was there and he had a nice little envelope with some postcards for me. We have Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, the treasure chest. An advert, that's actually a nice furniture. I'm an advertising piece for Middlesex Furniture Company with a Kroller sectional sofa. Oh my gosh, $88 for the ends and $66 for the center. There's no way you can get those prices now. That's a pretty nice couch. And then this lady, Mitzi Gaynor, I do not know who she is, an actress probably. I do like her hair. And then he also gave me this photograph of these ladies in their beautiful attire at King's Bluff. Oh, Margaret and Ella. Ella, my, my, my bridesmaid and her sister, Margaret. How nice. Another viewer and seller at the flea market, Gary. Oh, I don't have the pin. I bought a pin from him. Um, I think that that was a V for victory pin. That's in my bag yet. So I purchased that from him, but he had a whole bag of paper for me. So thank you, Gary. And I'm just gonna show a couple of my favorite pieces. We have a name tag for place setting at Thanksgiving. Goes with my turkey. We have another bits of ephemera. These are lovely lady needle holders. So they have the needles on the back, the sewing needles. And then there were a bunch of these, which I thought were really neat, for County Commissioner Elmer Bridinger, Plainfield Township. These are really cool. I'll have to see if he won. They do have some mortar damage on them, but they're still pretty nice. He has really nice hair, actually. Really nice. Now, the big find of the day were the was the box of transformers the woman wanted five dollars for the box and then i also purchased uh, i believe it was a he-man the he-man tiger no, it's not she-ra's tiger i think it's he-man's um his mouth and his leg moves this is 2001 one. Oh, I thought it was older. Darn it. I got taken. <laughs> I got taken by my own lack of knowledge. So this isn't an original He-Man. Um, so it might only be worth three dollars or less. Should have looked at the price. I mean at the date. But there are Transformers. I don't know if these are the, these aren't the original either. 2002. I thought there were some older ones though. Maybe not. This one is 1981. I think this is, is this Vol Voltron. He is missing a leg. 
she did say they were just pieces, which it looks like there's a lot of just pieces in there. But I did have someone offer to buy this from me, like the moment that I walked away with it. So, you know, what will it be on eBay if other, oh, there's a guy's head, if other pieces, you know, maybe someone else needs the rest of the body. So there's that guy, this one, his legs are nowhere to be, oh, is this a leg? That might be a leg. I don't know. Him, and then there is one complete one. This guy. Oh no, he's missing his arms too. Unless they're in here. I do not know. It doesn't look like it. So he's missing his arms. This is a Japanese one. So this one might be... I, I think this is probably at least worth five dollars. This guy's feeder cars. So what would be the plan for these is because they are not complete is to put them on eBay at an auction. And most likely start the auction low. This way, you know, people can bid and just you know, do as they please. I'm not promising a full piece. And since I only paid $5, whatever happens, happens. I might even, heck, the ones that are just assorted pieces, plus this guy, I might even just throw into, he talked or something, a whole lot. And again, do it at auction and sell it that way. But it was $5. So I'm going to make my $5 back. Does this mean I need to know a little bit more about Transformers, perhaps? There's like a head. 1992. And then just more assorted pieces. And a yo yo. It's fantastic. So, those were my flea market finds of the day. Not too bad. It was rather a low-key flea market. Um, there didn't seem to be a major rush to buy things. I also did not see a lot of box lots of things that I really wanted. Not a lot of photographs. Oh, there was that album. It was an army album from World War II. And it had a mixture of photos taken at home with the family, friends, and then a few photos during service and I really loved those um, photo booth snapshots but he wanted a hundred fifty dollars for that like that's insane when he first said well the album you know it's homemade that's not if, if you're referring to the the album itself that's not homemade like I've seen those all over <laughs> so when he first said that I knew I thought oh something this is not gonna be a price I can afford but $150 is not that is not a flea market price if that was an, an album with battlefield foot, footage battlefield photography then that'd be a different thing if it was filled with that but it wasn't you know if, if it would have been $50 I would have purchased it but $150 I walked around an hour and a half later and it was still sitting there. And by that time your buying crowd, you know, that buys to resell or take to other flea markets has come and gone. And if they didn't see it at a hundred, you know, worth $150, it's, it's not. I don't even know on eBay if that would bring that price. So I did not get that. But who knows what will happen at the next flea market. Hopefully the weather will stay nice and every weekend the summer will be a good weekend to go to the flea. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure to subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel, about my flea market adventures. And sure, you might have seen something that you would have bought or that I should have bought. So let me know in the comments below. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day and I will see you all next time.